Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Kurt Premium here on our 2018 Kia Sedona. Now the Kurt Premium is a hanging style bike rack capable of holding up to four bikes. You can get a five bike version and that'll have a slightly higher weight capacity of 225 as opposed to 180 pounds total and it'll stick out a bit further but overall they're gonna function the same. Because it's a hanging style bike rack, it's gonna hold the bike hanging by the frame here. That does mean we want to avoid carbon frame bikes because it can damage the frame. And with alternative frame bikes, we are gonna to wanna to pick up a bike adapter bar to ensure good contact and it's hanging properly. The nice thing though is with kids' bikes, these cradles on the end actually, the arms narrow in, so it'll actually work better with those kids' bikes right out of the box and potentially you won't need a bike adapter bar because the smaller frame will fit on here a lot better. That five bike version has a third spot for a kid's bike, so just keep that in mind. You can put regular bikes on here, but that's kind of what these are intended for. And on the cradles here, we've got three points of contact. Two straps on the top holding it down in the cradles that we can just pull off like that. And then a third one on the seat post that will limit the side to side movement. You can see with that off how much movement we're getting. That cradle basically just limits that bike to bike contact we might get. I'll go ahead and remove it now though. And we can show you some of the other features of the bike rack, setting this to the side. I always like to replace the straps on the cradles there just so they're not moving freely around whenever we're going down the road. You don't have to necessarily, but it's something I like to do. And from here, let's go ahead and tilt it away to get hatch access. To do that, we'll come down to the bottom here. And we've got a couple different things. We've got a hand knob on the back that'll loosen. That basically just limits the movement of this upright portion of the bike rack. Pull out this clip and pin. The pin is a little bit tricky to get out, but just like that. And then we can lift up on this pull tab right here to tilt it away. And then from here, we can open up the back hatch with plenty of room. So before or after a ride, we can sit back here and change our shoes or get some water, a cooler out of the back, whatever we need to do. Close that up and we can re-secure all of this in the reverse order that we undid it. Now the reason there's so many different points of contact down here is because this rack is motorhome certified, so it has to be built a little bit tougher and more secure than a standard bike rack, which can be a pain for just everything you have to do to tilt it away, but it is nice knowing that it's built really tough. From here, I wanna get some measurements. We'll see how far it sticks out here from the back bumper out to the end. It's gonna add about 34 inches. And again, with that five bike version, it will stick out a little bit further. But on both of those, when you have bikes unloaded, if you wanna leave it in your hitch, you can. Just remove this pin and retaining clip from up top, fold the arms down, reinsert it with the newly aligned holes. And now the bike rack will only be sticking out about 10 and a quarter inches to the back end right here. So it's a lot more manageable and condensed and it's ready to go for whenever we wanna ride next. It is a straight shank and that ground clearance coming out of our hitch is going to be about nine inches here. It sits pretty close to the van though, so I don't think we'll have any worries about that. Just keep an eye on it for those steep driveways and hills. Our closest point sits with about three inches of space between the bike rack and the vehicle, so I don't think we have to worry about any contact there. And then down at the hitch, it is working with a two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with an anti-rattle bolt to keep it secured. You can pick up a locking anti-rattle bolt if you want, and you can always pair that up with a cable lock that'll go through this loop on the back of the bike rack. And overall for me, the Kurt Premium is a solid rack. It's one of my favorites to recommend just because again, it works with those kids' bikes right out of the box, so I think it's a perfect fit for your Sedona here. Thanks for watching. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement.
Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.